Hey, Fox says Heather Ford. She's checking out the summer camps at Pump, Pump, Pump It Up. <laughs> That's right. All right. I need you pump guys to help me out with something, up. though, because, <laughs> because I need both of you what? to pull out your imaginary pirate swords. Can we do that hey right now? Hey now? Kids, are you ready to pull out your imaginary pirate <laughs> oh swords? Oh, gosh, Heather, your eyes are... <laughs> We are getting ready to play pirate sword fights. It's all part of the new camps that are going on here at Pump It Up in Poway. Are you guys ready to sword fight? Yeah! Okay, we're starting all of this going on. It's how uh, we use our imagination. So, <laughs> the sword fighting is beginning. Greg, tell us a little bit about these pirate parties, superhero parties. It's the brand new stuff that's going on here at Pump It Up in Poway. Yeah, so we just kicked off a pirate party, and from the moment our guests arrived in their grand ship in the parking lot, our trained staff uses props and creative uh, scripts to evoke the imagination of the kids. All right, so this place is all about creative play and using your imagination. A lot of things that some kids don't do nowadays because we're always linked to TVs and computers and iPads and iPhones. Talk to us a little bit about the idea behind Pump It Up. Well, what we're trying to do here with our pirate party is to evoke creative and more imaginative play. And here in the arena, there's special games and activities that we play with the kids. And now I guess this is a cannonball party, this huh? This is a cannonball war. So they're having a cannonball war with these uh, little Nerf-type balls, and they have a riot with it. So more importantly, let's say someone's watching this and they don't have the money to come here. You said there's uh, everywhere between $100 to $300 for some of these parties out here. And we've got the link up on our website, fox 5 Sandy. Com. People just need to click on the scene on tab if they're interested in throwing a, a party here at Pump It Up. But what about for moms and dads who are at home and they want to do something more creative with the kids? Are there any ideas that you can do? Well, you know, I would say just like we do here, uh, get a chest of props, whether it's costumes, masks, and let your kids play freely for an hour a day. Don't pack their with scheduled activities and homework and stuff. Free play is very important. So even a stick in the backyard, going outside and playing, making it a magic wand or a sword is very important for kids. And what ages are we talking about specifically that this is the most important for? We are targeting age group three through seven with these adventure parties. All right, so three years old to seven years old. We've got a few girls back in the studio, our anchors, and actually Raul as well. They all have little ones, so it's always really neat for me to go out in the field. I learn a little bit, uh, bring it back to them, and, and you know we talk about it back and forth. I know Chrissy um, was talking to me about it this morning. Are you there? And yeah, uh, we're talking here. about how important it is to just let the kids play. And you know what? I bet after they do something like this, they're going to sleep really well, too, <laughs> which That's is really part. good. That's well, the best part. Do what you got to do and get them to nap afterwards. You know, tell that dude. Uh, my kid, I'm planning, I'm going to do like Sholly and pre plan for the third birthday party. I'm still like seven months away or whatever, but... You'll actually end up having a good time. That's a cool place, so I'm glad he said from three and up, because I was thinking maybe she's too small when she turns three to go to that place. No, it looks like... Well, it well you gotta love the fact that everything is soft, so yeah. there's no, yeah. you know, you're not worried about them bumping anything right. or anything. Yeah. That's good, because it's all... It's pretty cool. It's all hey, did either of you guys, uh, speaking of creativity and yeah. imagination, do you, do you ever have an imaginary friend growing up? There's cannonballs flying everywhere. I still do. I have all kinds of imaginary friends in my head. I have. Do you think Chrissy talks to all morning?